All right, everybody's here. We yeah. can feel better. Yeah, Ron's everybody's here. here. Nordo's here. Tom's here. Everybody braved the weather, braved the, braved the storm. It's a, it's going to happen. We're looking good. Parrish is still here. Marnie's yeah, still let's here. Go. Yeah. Go, guys. Good, good, good guys. <laughs> Hi, Nordo. Hi, Ron. Hey, good morning, man. What's going on? It's Tom. Nordo, how you guys feeling? Nordo, how are you, how you, how you Ron, feeling? Everybody Tom. good? Oh, good. Good. Right. Ready? Uh, we decided we had to tell the story, Ron, of what happened. We <laughs> have to tell the story. And, and we would yeah. love to get your side of it as well. Um, yeah. Uh, was it Sunday that this happened? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, Sunday. Yeah. So uh, yeah. uh, we all these radio stations, for those of you who don't know out there listening to the Power Trip Morning Show, uh, all the radio stations are here at the same end of the building. We have five different radio stations at this end of the building, including across the hallway from us, K-102. K-102. The dominant country radio station in the uh, upper Midwest. Nay, Uniquely the Twin nation. Cities. That's right. Um, Ron was going to do, I would guess, what, a uh, like a uh, social media post or something like that? It's a postcast we do after every uh, Vikings and Gophers game now. Gotcha. gotcha. And uh, uh, you were you decided to use that studio over there because there was nobody in there. It's a Sunday. Uh, it's uh, empty. But you walked in, and uh, I'm sure <laughs> Ron's already music. smiling and nodding his head like, go on, I'm sure, go uh, on. Yeah, sure. Abbott sent me the video. So oh, yeah, no, right. I've seen it like nine times. <laughs> <laughs> um, a country music, I'm sure, blaring in there. Um, yeah, and, yeah. and you, and you walked in and, and you needed silence. Yeah. So what did you do? I just turned the music down. That's what I thought <laughs> I was doing. But here's, here's the setup though. Thursday night football, I come in and I have the same thing. And I text Abbott, like at the beginning of the season, I told him this, Hey, uh, I signed a deal to do a postcast after every game. It's going to be about 15, mm -hmm. 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So when I get here on Thursday, I walk in that same studio where K102 is. And then I walk out. Like I was going to go to a different, he's like, Oh no, 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 just go in there. Go in there. And so Abbott, and maybe Thursday nights, nobody's listening to country music. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Thursday, it was fine. Sunday, like Zach comes running in, like, what? You know, he doesn't say anything. Words don't actually come out of Zach's mouth a lot of times. He just kind of grunts and then, you know, change. And I'm like, oh, did I turn it down? And he's just like, the, the, the look he's looking at, he just looks at me like, yeah. yeah. And so, that's it. It's a pretty so, good Zach impression. Um, as as that is happening, there's alarms going off everywhere because that's dead air, dead right? air. On, yeah. on, on K102. And so there's flashing lights and uh, um, our friend Powerplay Pat, who has been a big part of the Power Trip Morning Show and is uh, second in command at K102, is remoting in from home trying to get the computer started again because he has no idea. Somebody just turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah. And the video of, of the security video of you walking in and just taking that little lever and just putting it to zero. It's just, I don't know why it's so funny, but it made me laugh too. Oh, like, just, yep, I'm going to go ahead and just turn this off. That's it's like, it's like Charlie Bucket getting in the great glass Wonka Vader and just hitting every single button to make the thing go. It's like, come on, Ron. Hey. What are you <laughs> doing? You didn't know. How would you know? You How would I know? know? You're just turning down the volume as far as so you know. There was no either. white light. Like, yeah. the, white, the white light wasn't on. So no I, think I didn't know it was no a problem. live studio. Eight minutes of dead air and no invoice you for the spots that were missed. <laughs> uh, uh, that's great. Not a problem. That's all right. Well, listen, hey, you got here, and is it still storming outside? Is it terrible out there still? Oh, yeah, it was yeah. pretty bad. It was, yeah, it was yeah. better than the story that Marnie painted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was right. still at my house, so I was about 25 minutes behind her. Yeah, it was awful. A couple cars. Not as bad. I saw some overpass dwellers. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. What's Those, an overpass it, dweller? Marty Somebody was saying that's hiding under the overpass. Oh, because it's coming in. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah right. It looks like it's just kind of raining here in St. Louis Park now. It doesn't look that bad. But, it's uh, the person. And that... I heard the radio. I got your text. I don't. I told Pelicero this. I don't text and drive, especially in the rain. Smart. Like Look I, 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 I do not yeah. like driving in the dark. I don't like driving in the rain. Like I need glasses though. I, I realized that I went to Target, uh, whatever eye thing the other day because I thought my Lasix optical need to be right. Yeah. So, yep, I need glasses. So you're driving blind, but you're not texting. <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> You'd Pretty be much. texting if you could see your phone. They're like, yeah, your lace is, is, is worn off. So I, I did reach out to uh, Dr. Lobanoff. So I have, I'm not sure if I want to get it twice. I think I'm, I might just go the old man route and... Uh, yeah, not as old as Hawk, yeah. but I, I just, yeah, well, just wear some glasses. No, actual glasses. Free oh, consultation, Ovo. I heard that my age, actually, gray hair, Ovo. glasses is actually kind of sexy. So I yeah, think I might just see. go ahead and lean into it. Get it done. Yeah. Why not? Uh, we were talking to Dotcom Tom. I'm, I don't know. If, I'm guessing you were listening on the way in about uh, his thoughts on the Vikings this weekend and going to Carolina. But Ron, before we get deep into the initials situation, tell me your thoughts on this weekend. Uh, I think Adam Thielen's going to do everything he possibly can to help his defense out to understand what Kirk Cousins does best. Um, he's going to try to oh, Superman this game himself as well. He's going to want to make catches. He's going to want to do the first down signal. Um, from a team standpoint, I think Brian Flores, Bryce Young is a good person to blitz against, but he also can run. So that's the kind of two negatives of that. Like you can blitz him and he doesn't really understand. I don't think he'll understand 
uh, who his hot route is. He can't see his hot route half the time. Uh, but if he runs, that's like, you know, Baker Mayfield hurt the Vikings with his legs. And so Bryce Young can run, but I don't know if he's mentally ready to just start getting out the pocket, taking off. If it was Justin Fields. I'd say, yeah, he's going to take off. Bryce Young, nobody really knows what he is right now. So um, I, I, I wanted, what is it, um, Andy Dalton, because he can't move. And mm. so if you blitz him at the rate Brian Flores is blitzing, I think you have it. But Bryce Young, it's the great unknown. Nordo, your thoughts, 0-3 versus 0-3. Well, whether it's Bryce uh, Bryce Young or Andy Dalton, who has proven it actually with a different team, this defense in the last few years can lose to just about any quarterback. <laughs> Come on, now. Andy Dalton, Cooper Rush, et cetera. But uh, I think I, I love the way that, that Tom was talking about it with the, with the historical nature of the turnovers and just how bad it is. And post-loss, you know, Kirk need to spike it there. That's ridiculous and awful. Uh, clearly communication issues that still exist and persist in certain aspects of, of this offense, the run flow and, and everything that plays into it. In the end, their offense has been good enough in the right spots with Justin Jefferson to come out with W's in these games, at least two of them, uh, maybe even Philly if you're 14-10 at half instead of 13-7. But, but in the end, taking care of the ball and, and just being more responsible and more efficient early in these games, which was a trademark. Of this team a year ago, seven of their first 11 games, they scored a touchdown in their opening possession. And this year, we're fumbling on every opening possession. So it's it's really been disastrous in ball security. So I think anybody that wants to water it down, uh, which I don't, I, I don't believe they are, but if you want to boil it down, I should say, to just one particular thing that trends in the other direction in a positive one, uh, take care of the freaking ball, beat this winless team, and feel good coming back from Charlotte. By the way, that noise thing that you were talking about with not yeah. being able to get off the play at the end and not spike it, that was real. Okay, I, I've been to, I don't know how many games, a couple dozen games, probably U.S. Bank Stadium over the years. I've never heard it as loud when the Vikings are on offense. At one point in the fourth quarter, I think there was, this was earlier, this was maybe seven minutes to go or something, there was a let's go Vikings chant while the Vikings are on offense. Hmm. And I'm just thinking... I've never heard that in any NFL stadium. <laughs> wow. Like, what, what's happening? And then they, they get the completion. I think it was to Hawkinson, right, down to the three-yard line or yeah, whatever. Right. And they're trying to get lined up. It was loud. It was legit loud. Now, again, you know, Kevin said this. Like, yeah, probably in hindsight should have just spiked it. Should have just not tried to get it off. But, like, <laughs> there needs to be some awareness just within the stadium. Like, hey, just quiet down. Like, we, you're trying to get a playoff here. I just never, let's go Vikings channel was the one that killed me. I'm just like, what, what is happening? Hey, Zach, could you tweet out from the Poucher account, the NFL Network's Tom Pellicero <laughs> blames the <laughs> fans for the loss? All I know is when you're in the first grade playing football outside flag football and you're doing the two-minute drill because every kid's done that. You're driving down and you're throwing to your friends and you guys are going to, you know, win the Super Bowl in the first, second, third grade on the playground. Everybody knows how to spike the ball because Joe Montana did it. Everybody can go watch Fran Tarkenton do it. Like, it, 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 at some point, if you can't hear the play, you just spike. It, you just spike it anyway. I don't understand. I mean, I well, understand you're thinking not about the don't, defense don't burn it down. It's also don't burn it yeah, down. Yeah, don't burn right? it down. Don't, but the, but the timing with 33 three. seconds, you only can get off three plays mm -hmm. with 33 that seconds. Nice tweet, whoever just puts so. that out from Howard. <laughs> I got alerted on the phone. <laughs> 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 exactly. Breaking. The NFL Network's Tom Pelissero blames Vikings fans for Minnesota's loss. Bleacher Report. You want to get that one. one. It's going to be Bleacher Report. You're going to see yeah. that on ESPN. <laughs> Zach, he was kidding. <laughs> oh, well. Good oh, luck, Tom. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> Hey, uh, can Wait I just, a way to start a Friday. Uh, before we go to break and do the initials, because I know we, we, we're going to, uh, but we'll be right back and do that. I, I have to ask you a serious question, if you don't mind, Dr. Tom, Tom, Tom Pellicer, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, the Chandler Jones story, I just read the latest out of Las Vegas. Um, uh, uh, what a uh, what a weird and scary situation that's going on there. Yeah, I watched, he, he went live on Twitter slash X yeah. yesterday. I watched a decent chunk of it, and I, I think that... I am not going to offer a clinical diagnosis on Chandler Jones. Right. Um, but, you know, he was on a, whatever it was, 72-hour mental health hold at a local hospital out there. I know the Raiders and a lot of other people have tried to help him. You listen to him talk, and it's not anything that would pass as this person is of, of sound mind and body right now. Right. So you, you just hope that it's not going to have a, a really bad ending. There's... You know, again, I'm not comparing any mental health situations, but you remember when Everson Griffin started posting stuff on his yeah, Instagram a couple yeah. of years ago, 
And there's just, there's certain things there that are really, really scary. And you just hope that, you know, people are going to be able to get the right, the right type of help. Football's the least, as much as Chandler Jones just keeps saying, why can't I play for the Raiders right now? And then he starts talking about the Illuminati and, you know, poisoning your water and what Joe Biden's doing and all these other things. Like you probably need to, you know, focus on, uh, on other things first, but he doesn't, he, he doesn't realize that, which is not uncommon. He literally says, I'm still confused on what I did wrong. Yeah, I, and it, so it's uh, that's a scary situation, no doubt about it. Mm. Hopefully, it uh, hopefully uh, he gets some help and everything turns out okay. On a much lighter note, do you guys <laughs> want to play initials? Let's I would like it. to. Uh, these are the three <laughs> semifinalists for today: Tom Pelissero, Ron Johnson, and Eric Nordquist. Uh, one of them will advance to the finals on October thirteenth. That's uh, that's two weeks from today. Uh, but also, one of you, when we come back, one of you listeners has a crack at $47,500. Up next, it's the initials game featuring the St. Paul Federal Credit Union jackpot. Call 1-800-320-5326 for your shot at the initials jackpot next on The Fan. Then we called Select Quote. Select Quote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, Select Quote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, call Select Quote at 1 800 290 5599. That's 1 800 290 5599. Or go to SelectQuote.com. 1 800 290 5599. That's 1 800 290 5599. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Full details on example policies at selectquote.com slash commercials. At Luther Brookdale Mitsubishi, choose between 0% financing for three years or $1,250 bonus cash on any new 2023 in-stock Mitsubishi SUV. Only at Luther Brookdale Mitsubishi. See dealer for details. It's like choosing cake or ice cream. You can't lose. Hi, it's Chris Hockey here. I'm uh, sorry, I was just talking to Marnie and... Uh, and Mark Parrish, who are behind me back here, and they're so excited because I was telling them that they, too, can do to their home what I've done to my home, thanks to Builders Remodelers. And, you know, let's just be honest. Marnie's house is an atrocity. It looks terrible. She, it's the, uh, in her neighborhood, people call it uh, the poop house, right? She needs new siding, and she knows it. I, I, if I could just get her to call Builders Remodelers at BuildersRemodelers.com, they'd come to her home, put some new siding up, and, and no longer would her home be called described as the poopy house, right? And she needs new windows as well. And speaking of windows... I don't even know if you know this or not. Parrish lives in a hovel. He doesn't have windows at his home. Why doesn't he call Builders or Remodelers and have them put some windows in his home? I don't know, but I know you can. It's, I mean, think about it. And it might even be hailing by your house right now. You need a new roof? Builders or Remodelers or BuildersRemodelers.com. So, uh, listen, I don't mean to degrade their homes, but they both live in atrocities. They need to call Builders or Remodelers or BuildersRemodelers.com. Uh, even if you don't live in such a terrible house and you need some work done, please check out Builders or Remodelers or BuildersRemodelers.com. You'll find out why I always say it. Nobody does it better. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey, guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Just go to hymns.com slash radio. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation, discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95% off. That's right, get generic for Viagra, the same active ingredient as brand name Viagra, but for 95% less. It's the same medication, still prescribed by a licensed medical provider, but with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face to face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash radio. That's hymns.com slash radio for your free online visit. H-I-M-S dot com slash R-A-D-I-O. Meat sauce here. Football season is here, and you know what that means. Hanging out with friends and family and enjoying 7th Avenue pizza. Pop it in the oven or maybe even on the grill and enjoy. Their thin crust frozen pizza will absolutely exceed your expectations. Find 7th Avenue pizza at Marketplace Foods. At Shane Company, we believe everybody is made to shine. So put on earrings that make you sparkle, diamonds that light up the room, an heirloom you'll treasure, 
we're all made to shine. Shane Company, fine jewelry since 1929. It's the preseason ski sale at Joe's September 28th through October 1st. Get your kids skiing with $200 kids ski lease packages, plus save on Nordic and Alpine gear, snowboards, clothing, accessories, and more only at Joe's. It's all at Joe's, you're outdoor experts. Hey, Vikings fans, have you heard? Quick Trip is giving away up to $2,000 in the opening drive sweepstakes. Just purchase any pothole pizza or 20-ounce Pepsi or Mountain Dew product with quick rewards, and you're entered. One weekly winner will win a $10 gift card for every yard earned on the Vikings opening drive. Vikings score a field goal on the opening drive. That's an extra 500 bucks. A touchdown, a cool grand. See quicktrip.com slash sweepstakes for details. Quick Trip, we've got your Vikings game covered. The saga continues worldwide. The legends of hip-hop and icons of New York, Wu-Tang Clan and Nas present New York State of Mind Tour 2023. Wu-Tang Clan and Nas together live in concert in Minneapolis, Target Center, Saturday, October 7th. Wu-Tang Clan and Nas. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Score by Vikings, it's Garzy here, and this NFL season, Crown Royal is giving back to the generous hosts that make game day royal, to the fans that open their doors and defend the North with a Juicy Lucy in hand. So raise a glass for the hosts of every watch party and kick off with Crown, because Crown Royal believes if you live generously, life will treat you royally. Visit crownroyal.com to find out how Crown is living generously all season long. Please drink responsibly. Purple Friday. Brought to you by Franzen Bank and Trust. If you have a home improvement project or you need a new deck, call Pound 250 right now and say Meat Sauce to get started with Cody Construction. Minnesota Gophers, Louisiana Rage and Cajuns. Tomorrow morning at 11, hear it live on the radio home for Gopher Sports. FM 100.3 KFAN, The Fan. It's time for initial scheme 482 on the Power Trip. Presented by Cultivated. That's right. Cultivated is the presenting sponsor of the initials game. And you know I love them. If today's winner gets six points, then all CBD products are 20% off. If today's winner gets seven or more points, then all CBD products are 25% off all weekend long at cultivatedcbd.com. Just use that promo code initials. Uh, the offer valid through Sunday. Remember, you can always use the promo code KFAN at cultivatedcbd.com to receive 50% off and enjoy free delivery to your door. Thank you, Cultivated. You're the best in the world. Speaking Corey? of the number of points, we've uh, discussed this off the air a couple of times this week, specifically with Sauce, because he's very defensive about his nine points, right? His record nine that uh, him and AJ have both gotten to nine that with three that opens the door for somebody to post a giant score so would that be an asterisk if somebody posts 10 but only against two competitors I would say sauce would. is def- yeah I, I think it probably is a little unfair to have a three-way I think functionally the there's an asterisk but you still just dagger him oh yeah, yeah oh, of course sure correct. obviously yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think that is the correct answer yeah. not officially the record but bring it up to sauce on a daily basis correct. that's, yeah. that's how it's done all right you guys ready Hell yeah. Let's go. It's time for the 2023 Initials Invitational, presented by St. Paul Federal Credit Union. All right, let's go around the room. You guys are semi-finalists. Uh, there are nine competitors left out of the original 45. Let's go around the room. Tom Pelissero, in round one, you dispatched Gleeman and the Geek. Aaron Gleeman and John Bonus. You also beat Tommy Olsen and Elizabeth Reese. Got a little dicey, got close, but uh, you advance. Hi, Tom. How you doing, Corey? I'm doing great. Uh, you have never lost at this game. Are you feeling the pressure of being a high seed and so far undefeated? Well, this is a small sample size because I've played twice. Twice, 2-0. and oh. But feeling good. Uh, wasn't supposed to be here. Everybody counted me out, but somehow <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the top seed in the room. So uh, I'll consider the pressure on here. All right. Uh, do you want to read your sponsor? Or you want me to do it? Sure, I got it. If I win today, tweet <laughs> at me. That's what it says on this sheet at Tom Pelissero and tag at Great Clips today through the end of Sunday. And one lucky winner will win one year of free haircuts at Great Sli- Clips Salons. Plus, Great Clips will donate $1,000 to the charity of the winner's choice. Yeah. Uh, and- Tom, so far, by the way, before Hawk uh, reads the second part of it. Yeah. Great Clips has not gotten that uh, to the finish line yet. Well, what Marnie, the hell did you give me this read for? No, then? because they because they want this add more pressure to you. But 
We need a, a great clips to win at some point. Marnie has yet to get a win for them. Everybody that has represented them in the tournament has Again. yet to get a win for great clips. All right. We I need, got you great clips. We need yep. great clips to, to find a winner today. But, Chris, what else is and it? And my sponsor, the all-new Radco and Radco.com. If he wins, you'll receive 10% off your entire order in-store online at Radco.com. When you use the promo code initials, discount does not apply to toppers. Thank you, Radco. We love you. I Go, Tom. Topper. I know. <laughs> Let's does go. not apply to toppers. Nordo, uh, you hey. took out the number three seed, John Creasel, in round one. You also took out uh, Max and uh, Michael J. Musman the third. And, of course, Rosen got Rosened. But uh, you advanced out of a pretty tough group. But uh, Creasel was a, was a dark horse, I think, for a lot of people to win the whole thing because he yeah. almost won it last year. It was me and Creasel. But you advanced. Well, let's not pretend that the rest of the group was difficult. One of which is banned from the tournament a year from now. Probably should Rosen. be banned forever. Max yeah. is plucky. But Max is plucky. Between Rosie and Muss, yeah, we were, we were fine. Do you so, like your chances today? How do you feel about uh, Ron and Tom being your competition? I, Ron treats this like most of us. Like the, if, if we're begging for our lives, that's how he treats <laughs> radio games like this. I think Ron is going to be tough as hell today. Okay, and, right. and Tom's fantastic. He's undefeated. So, uh, What happens if you win today? Seventh Avenue Pizza. I'm sponsored by Seventh Avenue, and check this out: Seventh Avenue Pizza will be available very soon in all holiday locations, Whoa. including Duluth. That's huge. If your holiday store doesn't have it, it will soon. So buy two Seventh Avenue pizzas, save three dollars at Holiday today. And if I win, tweet at me at Mad Producer One, tagging Seventh Avenue Pizza as well through the end of Sunday. One lucky winner getting a hundred bucks to put towards restocking your freezer with Seventh Avenue Pizza. That's yes. fantastic. Nice. All right. Good luck to Nordo. Uh, Ron, for the second consecutive year, Meat Sauce called his lineup a bunch of sleds. Uh, last year, he lost to Frank Vassalero. This year, off the air, he thought he had zero chance of losing to the group that uh, you were a part of, Ryan Carter, Dave Schwartz, Kevin Falness, and yourself. But you emerged victorious in a tiebreaker over Dave Schwartz. You won in round one against Sauce as well. Ron, how are you doing? I'm doing great today, Corey. Feeling confident? I'm feeling good. Do you feel no pressure because these two are higher seeds than you? I didn't feel pressure last time. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, like, this is a thing. Playing loose. Like, I, I mean, I played in front of 100,000 people. Like, this is, <laughs> there we go. This is, that's what talking about. This, is, okay. this is fun. I told you Red Zone here. Ron would come did out. Did you win at that game I'm at glad the end of the I'm glad we did win in, in, in uh, Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, I'm glad to be here. Like, I, right I, I didn't get zeroed. I got no, a point in the first one. I was just looking to get one point. And yeah. then one, then two, then three. Down just picked the three, so that was his fault. If he had picked happens, number one, I wouldn't have got those in the There you go. What happens if you one. win today against uh, Nordo and Tom? Well, I'm sponsored by ABC once again, so the American Building Contractors. And if I win today, tweet at me, 3 Ron Johnson. And for those that did it last time as well, I'm on Instagram, the 3 Ron Johnson. And tag ABC will help, but that won't help you on Instagram. Only on Twitter. Through the end of Sunday, and one lucky winner will win $100 in a Visa gift card. Pretty cool. All right. That's awesome. Uh, let me do my shameless plug. Uh, initial game four and five available on the website, initialsgame.com. If you want to play this at home, you can. And there's no more pre-sale. If you just order it today, you're going to get it shipped out like today. So oh, you can have it by next week. For you. Four and five. They're the best two. <laughs> uh, are you guys ready? See that vault over there? There it is. There are four packets in the vault. All oh, three no. semifinalist packets and the championship game technically in there. Four packets. Uh, one of them might win somebody $47,500. Now it's time for the St. Paul Federal Credit Union initials Ugh. jackpot. That's right. You heard what he said. There's a lot of money on the line for you. 1-800-320-5326. The St. Paul Federal Credit Union initials jackpot is currently at $47,500. You're looking to buy a new car? Save money in your current car loan. With St. Paul Federal Credit Union, now offering car loan rates as low as 6.29%. Apply today at stpaulfcu.org slash KFAN. Federally insured by the NCUA. This thing goes up $500 every week thanks to St. Paul Federal Credit Union. We're at an all-time high of $47,500. But we haven't had one person get even one letter right the entire tournament. $250. Bucks. If you just get one in the right spot, we've gone over the entire tournament. So we're long overdue. Uh, but if they get it both right, uh, both uh, letters in the right spot, then St. Paul Federal Credit Union gives them $47,500. Ron, you're the lowest seed. So you have your own fate in your own hands. Okay. There are four packets. Which one do you want? Three. Shocking. Of course. Three, Ron Johnson is taking packet number three. He's opening it. Nobody okay. knows. Nobody knows. Now, we have a caller on the line. I didn't even know until line. I just looked. There you go. The caller has been potted up. Hello, are you there? 
Hello. Hello. Yes, it's you. You are the lucky caller today. What's your name? Johnny. Hi, Johnny. What Johnny, up, Johnny, where are you from? I'm from Finley, Ohio. Are you Ohio. kidding me? Wow. Okay. I don't know if we've ever had anybody from Ohio guess, but look, it's a shot at $47,500. Why not? Uh, Johnny, you have a crack at forty-seven five. If you simply tell me the two right initials in the right spot, what are you guessing? J H. J H. Those are your initials, I'm guessing. Mine and my wife's. Yeah. Okay, you're going with your initials and your wife's initials. All right, J H for a shot at forty. Come on, now. seven thousand five hundred dollars. Does he, uh, Johnny from Ohio have at least one right, guaranteeing him two hundred fifty dollars and a crack at Come the on. whole thing? You blew it! Ah! No, sorry. I blame Ron. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> Say hi, everybody in Finley. I blame Johnny for JH. You don't like that guess? I couldn't even think of words that would, like, what? A couple. Joy handle. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, semifinal number one. Nordo, Ron, and Tom Pelissero. The initials for semifinal number one. WC. The letter W, and then the letter C. W C. Yell out your name. Your name is your buzzer. If it's a close call, wait for Zacho to do the instant replay. Wait until I call on you to uh, actually say the answer. You got to pronounce the answer correctly. If there's something controversial, we're going to do our best. Everybody ready? Here we go. Number one of W C. Clue number one. It doesn't have to be, but is commonly rectangular. Clue number two. This was invented in 1936. Clue number three. This is originally from Switzerland. Clue number four. This is often melted. Eric? Eric. White Ooh. chocolate? That's right. Yeah. White. Oh. Chocolates. Nice. By the way, we should uh, mention, if you get Rosened in round two, you are still into next You're year's so tournament. So you guys don't have to get a point. But I still. didn't even know who Eric was at first. I, was looking at, I thought this guy said no, that's, something. That's Nordo. <laughs> uh, that's his first it's name. Like, who is Eric? Uh, Nordo, Nordo on the board. I literally Nordo. looked at him like, White why chocolate. is he involved in this? <laughs> like, that's smart. Yeah, no help from the studio He comes audience. out faster in the end. Uh, Nordo leads one rip with white chocolate. Here's number two of WC. Clue <laughs> number one. A group of people. Clue number two. Often connected to construction. Clue number three. It's connected to manual labor. Clue number four. Not considered to be in managerial positions. Clue number five. Have blue collar jobs. Final clue. Clue number six. Janitors, electricians, delivery drivers, and more are all a part of this socioeconomic group. Tom. Tom. Working class. Yeah, there, right. uh, there it is. is. Working class. Parrish had it like three clues ago. He's over My there goodness. just. Fist pumping. All right, but uh, Tom Pelissero on the board with working class. And we have a tie at the top. Nordo has one. Tom has one. Here's number three of WC. Clue number one. This is a space. Clue number two. Involves a liquid. Clue number three. Involves preservation. Clue number four. Commonly includes temperature control. Eric? Yep. Water cooler? Fair guess, but uh, Nordo is out for the rest of number three. We're down to just Tom and Ron. Clue number five. These are often found in homes or restaurants. Final clue. Clue number six. This storage... Ron. Ron. Uh, wine cellar. That's right. Yes, wine nice cellar. Job. And we have All a right. three-way 
Thai wow. wine cellar is correct. I don't right. even need the last clue. Three way tie. <laughs> Semi final number one Damn here is number four of WC. Clue number one. Commonly features a brief gathering. Clue number two. This is a place. Clue number three. This includes a celebration. Clue number four. This can be found on the $100,000 pyramid. Eric? Yep. Winner's circle? That's right. Mm. The winner's circle is at horse tracks and the final part of the show, Pyramid. Way to go, Nordo. His name's Eric, by the way, Ron. I Eric, did not know Ron, that. Ron, Ron, Eric. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Nordo takes the lead. <laughs> Nordo has two. Pelissero and Ron Johnson each have one. Here's number five of WC. Clue number one. This is connected to a number. Clue number two. This is a combination. Clue number three. This can be extremely dangerous. Clue number four. This is connected to a factor. Clue number five. This involves blowing. Clue number six. Exposed skin feels this combination of flowing air and cold temperature. Five, four, three, two, one. Eric? Eric. Wind chill? Yes! Oh. Wind chill. That's it! Right before the Whoa. buzzer. That was at the last I'm so stupid. split second. I thought wind chill was one word. Wind chill so I spent two? the last 30 seconds trying to <laughs> determine Find if I want. something else? Yeah. No, like when I rolled chill. out Swordsman last year, that's, sure. that's not too weird. <laughs> Dude, you're dominating. You're doing great. All right, Nordo has three. Wow. I think Parrish is killing it over there. Maybe he's, uh, maybe he's practicing for next Wednesday. He's doing very well behind the glass. Uh, Nordo has three. Tom and Ron each have one. Here's number six of WC. Clue number one. This is often surprising. Clue number two. This features a distinct sound. Tom. Tom. Wind chime. <laughs> Solid guess. Uh, Pelo Zero out for the rest of number six. Clue number three. This is commonly made of rubber. Clue number four. This intends to be humorous. Eric. Yep. Oh, uh, whoopee cushion. You're That's dominating. Right. Nordo yeah. has Nordo. Now you're in my wheelhouse. All right, we're <laughs> whoopee cushion. I'm very immature. <laughs> oh. You guys should be watching the show that I'm watching of Marnie and Parrish. Oh, they celebrate are. Dance. Oh, you guys are watching yeah, it on the stream? We, we can, can see, see it on, on the screen. screen. Yes, we can. You can see when they get the answer right and how they celebrate when they do. Marnie's hip thrusting. She sure is. <laughs> She's not even listening to the show. Uh, Nordo has four, and we're at the halfway point. Everybody's still mathematically in this, but Nordo has a three-point lead with six to go. Mm. And just for fun, we're going to play this thing out, even if you lock it up way before 12, but uh, Nordo has a three-point lead. Here's number seven of WC. Clue number one. Can involve pain. Clue number two. Can limit motor skills. Clue number three. This is a condition. Clue number four. This is graphospasm. Clue number five. Can potentially be caused by prolonged and repetitive use of a specific set of muscles. Clue. 
Clue number six. Poets, authors, Eric, Eric, writer's cramp. That's right. Wow. I mean, Nordo's putting on a freaking clinic here. He's going to be tough to beat. He's just locked in. All right, Nordo with writer's cramp has five. You have a four-point lead with five to go. Still time to melt down. But also that means if you get any of the remaining five, you are mathematically the winner. Sweet. (laughs) You know me now, Ron. Cool. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) Nordo has five. Play that back if you blow this. Fair. Pelicero and Ron each have one. Here's number eight. Nordo's going for the win of WC. Clue number one. Often found at great heights. Clue number two. This can be a person or a thing. Clue number three. Use bosun's chair. Clue number four. Is used to remove... Clue Eric? number five. Eric for the win. Window cleaner? Oh, my God. That's right. Whoa! I can't Good believe job. it. Just 7th Avenue Pizza. An What's absolute up? freaking clinic. Unbelievable. Dude, six uh, out of I the mean, first eight to lock it up. Look, standing O from Marnie and, and yeah. Mark back there. Wow, Nordo. Yeah. Thanks You're for joining me, you guys. You WC, yeah. Ron. This I is did. on you. And I go get that wow, record Nordo. now. Let's punish Paul. Yeah, a good point. Just break the record just to piss him off, even if it does have an asterisk. Wow. If you run the table, you have 10. I you got all one, four. so I was good with that. You need all four. <laughs> Not done yet. Let's see, how, uh, we let's see how, uh, how well Nordo can do here. Let's post a big number. Here's number nine of WC. Clue number one. The origin of this actually comes from politicians and verbose public speakers. Clue number two. This is a nickname. Clue number three. One of the words means a human settlement of considerable size. Clue number four. This is a place. Clue number five. One of the words is a weather condition. Clue number six. Chicago. Tom. Tom. Yep. Windy City. <laughs> That's right. There we go. There you go. Yeah. There you, there you go. go. You can just hear the deflation. Uh-huh. Windy City. Oh. Uh, that is the Windy City of Chicago. Nordo has six. Tom has two. Ron has one. Here's number 10 of WC. Clue number one. Considered inconsistent. Clue number two. This is a person. Clue number three. The first word is ambulation. Clue number four. This features a gap between actions and beliefs. Clue number five. Their behaviors go against their principles, profession. Eric. Eric. Walking contradiction. That's right. Yeah. Holy crap. Walking contradiction and Noro has seven. If you get the last two, you tie the record. Here's number 11 of WC. Clue number one. Known to hold. Clue number two. Considered brown. Clue number three. Feature a grid-like pattern. Clue number four. Is edible. Clue number five. This is created from batter. Final clue. Clue number six. You can often find ice cream in these. Tom. Tom. Waffle cone. That's right. 
That uh, saves the record from Nordo. But Nordo, Nordo, you can put up eight if you can just get uh, number 12 correct. Uh, number 12, just for fun, here's number 12 of WC. Clue number one. Commonly but not always round. Clue number two. Often features intricate design. Clue number three. Are tiered. Eric. Yep. Wedding cake. My God. That's right. Damn. Damn. I mean, <laughs> wow. Tip of the cap to Nordo. That was no joke, Nordo. no fluke. Oh, Eight. Yeah. Out of 12. I, I should have never rolled these. You two, honestly. Thanks for picking that even, envelope, brother. I don't even think you did poorly. He just was locked in. Nordo with eight. I had a water cooler in my head the whole time. Man. And that screwed me up. Wow. Yeah, that was man. impressive. I was like, it's got to come at some point. That was well, very, well, listen, very, you got eight, so I want to throw this in real wow. quick. All weekend long, all CBD products, 25% off at cultivatedcbd.com. Hell yeah. All products, CBD products, 25% off all, all of weekend them long. Hawk? That's right. <laughs> At cultivatedcbd.com. Well done, buddy. Well done. Dude, I'm no, going to give you fun. another gift. I'm going to let you do Phelan on Sunday. <laughs> you know what? Just, just uh, because I'm so impressed. Yeah, okay. I want you to do it. Uh, my day just got better. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. Uh, what Absolutely. else happens because you won Nordo? Uh, check this out. So, 7th Avenue Pizza. So, well, here's, this is a terrific weekend tandem. So, the deal you're going to get at CBD uh, with Cultivated. <laughs> uh, use the promo code initials, as you just heard from Hawk, cultivatedcbd.com. And then you're checking out my buddies at 7th Avenue Pizza. Because at all holiday locations, you're going to buy two and save $3 at holiday. If the holiday doesn't have it, call somebody or they'll have it soon. Tweet me at MadProducer1 and tag 7th Avenue Pizza through the end of Sunday. Somebody's going to win 100 bucks towards restocking their fridge and freezer with 7th Avenue Pizza. Nordo, you're in the final three. Out of 45 competitors, two weeks from today, you are one of the three finalists. I, honest, I honestly came in and I just... I. I thought that you you had this one, and I'm sitting there and Tom, just, I didn't like the W, man. The Absolutely, w, there's w3, so many yeah. different letters that can go after it. I was thinking about Winston Churchill and stuff like that. I kept thinking water closet. Is that a thing? Yeah, it's a bathroom. bathroom. Okay, yeah, that's totally. what I thought. See, water bathroom. closet is all yeah, I, I thought water. the whole time. I don't think any were water, was it? No, there no, wasn't. I think no. no water. No, I had water. Oh, that was that, on that my mind too. And then even waffle cone. I was thinking cookie. I'm like, what is before cookie? When I play yeah. this game, I just don't want to be I saw Kevin Fowler's tweet, yeah. hey, that's, loser. That's the whole bit. I just Get don't want to look stupid. I just want to be getting close. getting is the opposite of looking stupid. So today, hey, you did today a good job. is your day, man. Absolutely. I don't understand why wrong. Kevin Fowler's is tweeting, though. You're a loser. You lost. <laughs> why are you tweeting to find out what happened today? <laughs> he's trash Enjoy talking Enjoy your you? loss. Yeah, he's tweeting, like, how did Ron do today? Hey, you lost <laughs> to me. So you did worse than I did today. I got one, and you're at home holding your stuff. Tom saying. For Chris and for Zach, oh. and I know Parrish is over there, you guys are still in this thing. How would you have done today if that very, was your list? Very, very well. Oh, I, you would yeah, have? Not, not, yeah, I, I don't know why. That WC seemed uh, pretty pretty good today. All right, so that would have been a good list that for you. That would have been a good Maybe one for me. West Coast, Wax then. Candle, none of the things yeah, that wrote down. Okay, no, man. That's just, that's uh, Tom, I haven't there. seen you this disappointed since the Vikings <laughs> played San Francisco in, in the playoffs. Um, you okay? Yeah, I'm great. Yeah? yeah I will you know. never write words down again. He seems actually completely unfazed by that. No, it's... <laughs> Just, you know, a lot of stuff was going through my head there. Just total blanks. Yeah, there was a lot. Absolute yeah. blanks. Yep. Well, that was, uh, that was impressive. That was so very good. He goes into the finals, man. I mean, are, uh, this uh, this is completely unexpected. I don't know what your odds were, Nordo, going into this uh, entire thing. But, geez, Louise, man. Underdogs, you got to take it sometimes. Yeah. You know, so. All right. So, Wednesday, when Tom's going to be at First Avenue, right? 7th Street Entry or First Ave? No, First Ave. First, First Ave, Ave mm -hmm. man. Uh, name of the band again is? Pew, pew, pew. Opening Correct. for Matt and Kim. It's going to be yep. Wednesday night at uh, First Avenue. So That's come cool. on out. If, you you, if I see you, I'll buy you a beer. Full set or just a handful of songs? Handful of songs. Handful of songs. Mm -hmm. That's super That's cool, awesome, though. That's Wednesday man. and First oh, Ave. That's your band. band. It's not of. my band. I jump oh. in with pew, pew, pew. Oh, okay. Pew, yep. pew, pew. I'm about to say, it's like a Kevin Hart joke. No. It's an elite um, band name, by the way, too. That that is, never, yeah. You're never going to forget it. So that's, that's Wednesday awesome. at First Ave. But Wednesday, Parrish has his semifinal. So uh, Parrish and AJ and Tyler George will be here. Let's go, Parrish. Wednesday at 8, the winner faces Nordo and somebody else in two weeks. Fantastic job, Nordo. Well done. Wow. Thanks for out. having me, gentlemen. Tom, it's, awesome, always great to have you, job, it's always great to yeah, have you, Ron. It's always great to have you. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for coming in, guys. Uh, 9 to noon is next. I think uh, Chark said Lakeville. It is Lakeville, yeah. Friday football feast, 9 to noon. Nordo, do you know what's on tap? 
Uh, they're going to first hour. Well, actually, I got to use the water closet and then prep for the show. <laughs> and then Alec Lewis, uh, the athletic Gabe Henderson, Vikings Entertainment Network. They'll all be on site on scene down in Lakeville. It'll be a party. Awesome. Thanks to Marnie. Thanks to Parrish. And Corey, if you don't mind, uh, uh, Fargo coming to see you tonight with the fabulous armadillos right downtown and then uh, going to Charlotte. So we'll see you guys on Monday morning, Corey. See you guys. People are using CBD for many reasons. Chris Hockey tried cultivated CBD. You should try cultivated CBD because it could help you in ways you never dreamed of. That's what happened for me. I never dreamed CBD would do for me what it's done. Learn more at cultivatedcbd.com.